So before I proceed with anything else on my YouTube channel, I'd like to say I'm sad that our Queen has passed away. Unfortunately, it is the circle of life. Um, I'm neither a royalist or a non-royalist, but she represented the United Kingdom and all what it stands for, Britishness. She represented being British and I am proud to be British and I'm proud to be a loyal subject to the Queen, uh, to her heirs and successors. So I'm sad she's passed away and we have to move on. And I now say, God save the King. And uh, we'll, we'll move on. But um, it's a great, great loss to, to Great Britain, which is the Irish, the Scottish, the Welsh and the English. She represented Great Britain. And she was the leader and the head of Englishness, Britishness, uh, everything you represented. And there are way too many people that knock who she is and, and what she was and the work she did. And if you don't support the royals and British, you don't have an identity. And I identify as being British and I'm proud to be British and to identify as being British. So uh, let's, uh, we've got 10 days of mourning. Um, the channel will be fairly quiet, but um, nevertheless, it's the circle of life and uh, tomorrow's another day. One of the tips that I always say every day is when you get up in the morning and you walk out your door or you step out your cab, just look skywards and, and just sort of think in your mind, thank you very much for what I've had so far. And um, can we have a little bit more, please? Thank you very much. So here we are. We've got her up on the big blue. She's, um, <coughs> she's going away tomorrow. We've got a higher bike coming. Unfortunately, it's not a 22 plate wing, <laughs> but I think it is a, an NT1000. Yeah, a Honda, a, and then a November Tango 1000, apparently. Anyway, I'll tell you tomorrow. So before she actually goes, I thought we'd have a, a, a better look at her, upon her. So we know about this slightly chipped. We know about this mangled, this trim and this, whether they'll polish that out, I don't know. But there is a piece, there's a chip piece missing. Where was the piece missing? We did see an actual piece missing from it. Where was it now? Hmm, there's a piece from it somewhere missing. An actual little piece, anyway. Anyway, so we've looked at that, we know about that. We saw that from above. This has got quite a sharp edge on it there. Uh, this is chipped. So that's gotta be done. Whether that, yeah, probably change that trim, this piece, and change the trim. So let's work our way down. Now, can you see? See how this is separated? It's nice and close there, separated. But it's the way it's it's built. It's a this is a trim piece that's missing out of here. But I think you know we all take the Mickey plastic fantastic blah blah blah. But I think because it is one piece, it's uh, I'd I'd like to suggest that if we were any in any other bike, it would have simply have snapped off the side box, the pannier, and would have kept going. Because you can see here, look, this, there's a hole here. There's a whole hole in here. And it's not split. It would be wrong for me to say, let's open that door. The door's still working, look. It would be wrong for me to say that it's split. 
it it has but it's only split because that's how it's built this piece connects to this piece which is then sort of connected to this piece so it's very uh it's very odd the way uh because on most bikes it's a box connected to the frame uh probably would have just snapped the the connections off the box but look it's took a right old banging you can see by the the, the exhaust how it was it's took a you know obviously it wasn't a quick bump and it was just the weight the the mass of the trike plus its trailer and the stuff in the trailer but it's held it took that bang really well you know really really well it's it's held up this corner's gone but i mean the door's still working and doors were still working fine look you'd think it'd be a struggle to shut the door but it's not so there's this trim piece here i think even this light is we might survive this here whatever's going on here and whatever's going on underneath let's let's go up there let's go up there and have a look i think it's down to however it's been put together but i am see look it's working fine this this you would think that this door wouldn't be working but look it's working fine but it's the way this is made although this looks like it's a crack and it's split it's why it's connected look there's a connection here under there snap that connection snap this connection um the back's coming away but look see that see this there's the odd thing about it can you see that corner this this door and this is connected to that so you can see you you can see fresh air down there can't you so you would think i could put my hand in the box and poke it through but you can't because that bit was so it's hmm it's really really well built it's took that knock really well hasn't it but this is my concern is that it's been knocked forward because then this panel there's a big gap you put your whole finger in this gap here there's a big gap here and this is a bit out of shape a bit hmm but i don't think the damage has come much further than there it just shows you how tough these gold wings are and you see that that's a different look that the whole you'd think you could see inside the box couldn't you but you can't it's very uh let me just open the box so there's the daylight there look i don't know if you can see it there's the daylight there and then it's that doesn't go in the box it's in here it's all fine so hmm anyway these people know these repair people know how to look at it and what to do with it so but to be honest i am impressed how it took the knock how it shows you how how tough it is it gives you a gives you a lot of um, confidence in riding the goldwing because it's not only we can see that it's here you know lots of bikes have boxes and on the back and the sides but it shows you how it's all well built let's see i'm really impressed the way it took that knock because if if it's handled that knock fairly well it could handle a much bigger knock before it worked its way towards you if you get what i mean yeah really really well I'm impressed in the in the wing in the wing itself and how it took that knock so anyway we're just going to we've took our flags off we've emptied the boxes there's nothing in the little cubby holes um this hasn't been affected the chrome trim's still on here um chrome trim on everything else 
we're not sure we think these are all right we're not sure we don't know the the front is okay the chrome on the ring of fire is okay we're leaving the cameras on um because it's way too much aggravation taking it off same as the wiring too much aggravation can you hear that rain hold on stand back oh and i've got to get back to the house yet oh my god uh, i'm stopping here for a while so that's why the video is going to be a bit longer hmm so everything's pretty darn good i'm really impressed in um in how the the wing was handled took a good old knock hasn't it i'm really impressed in the way the wing has handled the um the knock there's the chip is there the chip you saw something somewhere anyway yeah pretty darn good pretty darn good I'm really impressed with the wing. So here is another reason why the big blue is a good idea because okay we've got the drill here but you could if this was in your shed uh, out of sight of your property say you could bring the bring your bike put it up on the big blue uh, you could take the drill with you which I will do now I'll take this back in the house with me so there's no way of easily taking it off the floor, off the stand. So they're going to be thinking twice before they come to... They will, it's going to flatten them. They're not going to... There's no way they're going to get this wing off this lifter without seriously hurting themselves. Or without um, bringing a spanner and a socket to wind it down when you see you say okay easy put a socket scent on it but it's more time when the alarm is screaming it's more pictures to be to be had uh, off the cctv system it's time isn't it you're slowing them down so even if they unwind that with a spanner or a socket set it still takes them that much longer to be found out so if your um if your wing is in the shed uh and you've got room above to, to fit it. I'm not quite at the top. I'm probably, see, well, I'm probably two or three inches short, which would go in there, no problem. So it's another reason why the big blue is good reason, because like you can see, we've just been under it and you can get to it. So these, these big blue lifts are fantastic for servicing and uh, security. Hmm. They come highly recommended. Don't be nasty. Here she is. She's been caught red-handed. Listen to this. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It's rather persisting out there. <laughs> Do you want me to bring an umbrella up? Oh, that's very yeah, kind of them. It's probably on your shower, isn't it? It should be all right. It should pass soon enough. The worst of it, anyway. Yeah, my lovely wife asked me, did I want an umbrella? You must be joking, sucker. There's no way I'm coming out there. <laughs> it's thunder and lightning. I'm not going out there with an umbrella. You're on your own, mate. <laughs> you are caught red-handed. Caught red-handed. Put your tongue away. You have been caught red-handed. There is the evidence, yeah. Do you want to hear it again? You must be joking, sucker. There's no way I'm coming out there. <laughs> There's thunder and lightning. I'm not going out there with an umbrella. You're on your own, mate. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> so here we are. <laughs> it looks massive on the stand, doesn't it, at this height? So here we are, continuing the story. I'm waiting for the higher bike to arrive. I'm waiting for them to take this away. Um, just to keep you in the picture, there's a brand new bike coming. It's not a Goldwing. It's a um, touring, it's a hire bike. It's 170 quid a day. And the storage on this is 28 quid a day. So uh, it's an expensive game having a bump. Yeah, expensive game having a bump.
So obviously the insurance will cover it all, but that's why insurance is so expensive. But anyway, we're waiting for the man to deliver our um, hire bike. I'm waiting for this to go away and then for them to assess it and and then all the rest of the things and decisions. So anyway, let's uh, let's bring her down. <laughs> yeah, let's bring her down and let's get her ready for going away. So, up, right? so here we are, here we are, it's arriving. This gentleman's driven for, what, what time did you crack on this morning? I left at seven this morning. Yeah, seven, a good few miles. Picking up four on the way. There's the wing ready to go. This is a handy, that's a cracking, cracking bit of kit, this ramp, isn't it? It does the job. Oh, really handy for, you know, for getting in and out. Good bit of kit. And of course, having a long wheel sprinter, they're a, they're a good van, aren't they, these sprinters? For, you know, to the distance, see good work lights on the back. And this is the one we've got now for for a while. Oh, no luggage boxes, no luggage on it, Deb. Yeah, no, it's in the desk. Oh, is it? Oh. Hmm. What? No, it's only little, but there's a dink there. A little sharp bit, yeah. Sticking out. Yeah, Debbie's just going through it all. We've been there, we've done that. It's run now. Yeah, you can see it now, can't you, out in the daytime? Where the hole is there. But, otherwise, pretty darn good. Do you know what? I didn't bloody press record. I keep doing it. Right, here it is. Okay, it's not a wing. Um, but pretty good, pretty good. It's, uh, it's only done 662 miles. Nice digital dash. Um, our biggest thing was we didn't want to miss out on right to the wall. So we will be taking it to right to the wall. Obviously we won't be strapping flags and all that to it. But we've got wheels for that. And hopefully the Indian summer, um, it won't, uh, okay, it's not, it's not the, the summer's ended, the, the, but it's not winter yet, is it? So I reckon we've got a few, few more weeks of nice sunshine to come yet before you know it's the end of biking season as you might say and here's the wing in the van ready for the off and until you get it near so you don't realize how big they are until you put it near something do you it's like smaller <laughs> yeah it's, it's so smaller and these lovely uh four meter sprinters come to take it away 
Thank you, Neil. <laughs> Excellent job. Thank you very much. Then a great job of strapping the bike down. We don't know nice when we're going to see it again. <laughs> oh, we don't know when we're going to see it again. Problem. You don't know ah. when. And, uh, have a good journey back home. Rodo, you take care. Thank you.